Welcome back, First Hour Faithfuls, for yet another episode of the First Hour. My name is Colin Tam from VideoGamesAreDumb.com, and today we're taking a look at affordable space adventures on the Wii U. Now, this is a Wii U exclusive, only available on the eShop, and it's apparently promising to take advantage of the Wii U gamepad. So, we'll try and, uh... We'll try and get the most out of this experience here. Now, people are able to join in with you by using, obviously, a Pro Controller or a Wiimote, but we're just really going to be taking a look at the, uh, you know, the gamepad version. Now, let's get that barely visible, not visible. There we go. Turn up the volume on your gamepad. Okay. We'll try and get some of the sounds off of the gamepad as well. Uh, no, we don't have to worry about <laughs> me versus posts. This is very exciting because it's an independent studio trying to really utilize the gamepad, and I can't wait to see what they have to offer here. Already has you a great will be soundtrack. A professional space explorer. Ooh. Let you explore provide you with a cheap but functional spaceship equipped with everything you could possibly need on an alien world. We call it Small Craft. But how do I find an alien world? We've already found one for you. We've named it Spectaculon. It's located 23 light years away. It's safe. Beautiful. Alluring. Amazing. With 99% of its surface area uncharted, if you map an area first, you can claim it as yours. That sounds amazing. How do I get there? We take care of that too. Your small craft will be loaded into a container, which is then loaded into the UXplore mothership. Very nice visuals so far. When we reach Spectaculon, a dropship will carry the container down to the surface, and the exploration begins. I'm gonna go ahead and assume something's gonna go wrong. It has to, right? This 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 can't be a game where you just explore a, a nice little planet and everything's cool. I mean, they said 99% of it was unexplored. If 99% of it's unexplored, then well, you know. After 72 exciting hours, the dropship returns to pick you up and fly you home safely. But isn't space dangerous? I hear you ask. That was my first concern. Yes. With zero. Accidents since 1995, you explore is as safe as space travel gets. Rent your small craft today and get an extra 10% hey, discount. I want, to, I want to call the number. Your text. Oh, there we go. Well, everything's going to work out. That sounds exciting. Let's have a relaxing trip on affordable space adventures. I really like the art so far. It's it's striking and it's it's I don't know, it's engaging. I really feel like you're you're traveling to a different planet, but there's something slightly familiar about it. It's beautiful. Can't wait to see what the actual game looks like because the the, the art on the on these parts is just excellent so far. I like the music too. Uh oh. So we're looking at something on the gamepad here. Got a computer booting up. Uh, quite a bit of stuff going on in the gamepad. Okay, now starting it up. Well, they were not kidding. There's going to be a lot of sound effects coming from here. It's repairing. Okay, you have to aim with the right stick to scan. You also use a flashlight. Let's select the scanner. Ooh, nice visuals. Kind of looks like the swapper a bit. Looks like they're repairing another device already on here. Uh, steering, use the left stick, sure. So you can, when you tap on it, you're activating them. I've already activated one of these. Something didn't go right, huh? 
Oh boy. It says I'm using a fuel, but I don't actually see a fuel gauge anywhere, so who knows how much fuel I'm actually using. Get up here. Yep! Oh, whoa, whoa! Something's already gone wrong. A uh, small craft hit by lightning. A uh, small craft was hit by lightning from an electrical storm. All systems turned off. Okay, but I, I survived. So I can just turn everything back on and continue. So avoid going up too high because the lightning will strike you. Looks like I'm getting a lot of that exhaust good or bad. Does that mean I'm barely damaged? I'm not sure. There's no health indicator on the gamepad right now. get down here safely. Oh boy. Looks like you can just smack right into a wall and you're a-okay. So, don't worry about that. It's not about precision flying yet. Okay. Everything has worked out so far. Oh boy, <laughs> it looks like something has gone down. And the light, what was this, made in Unity? It looks like it. I had to guess. I mean, it's very hard to be like, oh, it looks like Unity, because Unity is so diverse, but I get the feeling it was. I had to guess. Awfully quiet. I don't like the sound of that. Oh! Oh! Stay on this side. Oh, God! Sneak in here. There's still no new options yet. Like they have, uh... What was that? There was like a pop. I don't know if I got hit by something. I don't believe I did. Maybe the ship's just not doing well. Doesn't seem to be losing any sort of health. That's interesting. The light is green on one side, red on the other side. I wonder if that's just a visual indicator or if there's something wrong with that side of the ship. <laughs> Love box and an ashtray. People still smoke in the future, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Pretty short segments before a loading screen pops up. Want to avoid the lightning again. box down here. Nope, nothing to collect. Nothing of use. This looks like a lot of debris, like the main ship went down. If I had to guess. There we go. Nope, nothing to do with that. Okay. Whoa, what is this? Fuel thruster. Uh, the fuel thrust system... Let me land this real quick. The fuel thrust system... Whoa, there's actually wind. That, that's what's blowing me. The wind is blowing me. Uh, so you can tap the fuel thruster. I can set it to different levels. We can set it to low. I can set it to high. If you look right here on the gamepad once again, you can see there's only two options. I can turn it off, and he falls. Turn it to medium. Turn it to high all the way up. So now he's moving very fast. Uh, although it is warning me right now that there's a lot of heat stress. You actually have to lower it. See that heat stress bar right there? Alright. I know it's a reflective surface so that might not play incredibly well. So let's... So you go from the middle, it's green, and then you start getting up into some dangerous territory. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. <laughs> okay. Mm, and if I don't have it up high enough, the wind can push me around. So I really need to be judicious about my use of this. So I have to turn it up all the way. Sneak in, sneak in. Turn it to low. Turn it to low. Whoa. Okay. But it's got to be high enough so that I can actually move around because that wind is just pushing me back. I'm going to set it to medium go down here. That's really cool. 
the small and, you know, possibly unnecessary, but, uh, what I understand if you're playing multiplayer, one person just controls the ship and you're just, you're controlling the functions. Because you can only have a certain number of functions selected at a particular time. Let's set up the fuel thrust. Fuel thrust is at medium. Medium is going well. I don't see any heat stress. What if I go like this? Uh, if I put it up almost all the way, it doesn't look like there's any heat stress either. It's just when you go all the way up. Okay, science is magic. The mass generator lets you increase the ship's mass. What? Once again, we have the exact same thing. Uh, uh, what happens if I make it... Heat stress. Turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. So I assume if the mass is higher, it allows you to float, but you gotta be careful. You gotta tap on it very carefully. Make sure that you have the right amount of mass, then switch it back. We just want all the mass we can get right now. The ship's not in motion, so it's not messing with the thrusters. I think I'm going to have to turn thrust all the way up. Let it... Okay. Turn the thrust off. Let's increase... Nope. Turn off the mass generator to allow us to float up. This is really cool. I'm actually going to turn the mass generator off. So we can float all the way to the top. Whoop. Just in case. I'm going to be a little slow about this. Uh, whoop. All the way up. Whee! Let's turn off the mass generator, turn the thrust back up, and let's get out of here. Flashlight seems to be... Yeah, these stages are incredibly short, but uh, I'm really liking the mechanics so far. Wow. So you're still only controlling one ship in multiplayer, so you could really get into some... Some fights if someone's not doing their job correctly. Um, yeah. Got my thruster set to the second highest. Oh god, which apparently is not working out very well. Turn down the heat stress. that about? Anything up here? Alright. Go up here and press the button. Yep. We'll get right over here. Yeah, you can just crash into walls. It's no big deal. Now I'm sure there's going to be things you're actually going to want to avoid. But I don't know what they are yet. Alright. Small craft scanner. Hold RZ to shoot a flare. Or ZR. Shoot a flare, but I'm not sure what the point of that is when I have the flashlight. Interesting. We can't reach that. Maybe I can shoot it with the flare? No? You can actually change the power of your thruster or whatever thing you've already selected using the D pad. That's kind of interesting. Huh. Maybe I have to go return my thruster back up. Go over here. See, it's not entirely touchscreen dependent. I see. We have to... Oops. I'm going to turn that up all the way so that I can have stability at the risk of damaging the ship. There we go. Fly back up. <laughs> okay, turn it down, turn it down. Okay, just don't have the same amount of control when your thruster is lower. Pretty cool stuff so far. Really digging that, yeah. 
It's uh, not entirely unique, but so far it's not unique at least, but the, 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 the controls are are generally interesting. Oh god, you can tilt the gamepad 90 degrees in order to tilt... Oh god. Go, tilting the gamepad. Oh, cool, SOS. You have docked with U Explore Concern Communications Pod. Here, <laughs> you can contact the U Explore headquarters to express any concerns or to request evacuation. The status of this unit is broken. <laughs> Great. Uh, you can actually see there's almost like a Windows 95. That right here is broken. Don't panic. The U Explore mothership launches over 49 concern pods on mission start. Another one should be nearby. All right. Well, let's go find ourselves another pod. Turn the thrusters back on. Huh? Oh, I have to turn on the fuel engine first, of course. Now I can turn on the thrust again. So you really do have to turn your ship on right from the get-go. Better turn my scanner back on. Let's get up there. Nope. Oh god. Not supposed to go up there. Turn the ship. This is absolutely taking advantage of the accelerometer. It's absolutely taking advantage of the touchscreen. And the, the idea that this has multiplayer, um, you know, that would... I don't know what you want in a Wii U game, but that sounds pretty good to me. It's only 20 bucks. 20 bucks. I mean, Nintendo games are generally uh, 40 to 50, and they don't drop in price very frequently. So, for $20, uh, Wii U experience, I think that's pretty good. But hopefully this game's going to start to challenge me a bit. In pretty meaningful ways. What is this about? We got an evil laser. I did it! I don't know what I did, but I did it. There's another button. Maybe I need to knock this guy down. Oh boy. Uh, better turn up my thrust. I don't know if that actually did anything. Come on. Oh my god! Well, there you go. Turn on the fuel engine. Turn back this on the scanner. Do I have to do everything over again? Nope, it's already got... No, yeah, maybe? Let's go see. I hope it saved what I did. Yeah, it did! Okay, kudos. Very good. I, I really appreciate that. I have very specific goals I am trying to reach. So I like it when... Where's my... Uh... That's weird. Oh, the scanner has to be on for me to use the flare. Got it. I got, you gotta turn up the stability on this thing by using the fuel. Oof. Oh, so close. Yeah! I turned down the fuel thrusters. Get myself right into here. Was there any reason to get into here? Am I going through here? Oh, that was weird. Kind of bounced along the ground for a second. Hmm. What? The horn? The horn is the select button. Alright. This is really important for me. If I don't use the horn, I might as well throw this gamepad away. Might as well throw my Wii U in the garbage! Because horns are what make video games great. Where's Battlefield Hardline? Such a cheesy horn. I love it. Alright! Small craft scanner can now be equipped with a sensor. Press ZL to aim an artifact and scan it. Okay. Oh god! Okay, so. There was no information on the touch screen. Uh, the small craft, all I'm learning is its radius of attack. 
which apparently is that sphere that I flew into. Wait a minute, I'm still alive. Just gotta turn the ship back on. <laughs> That's a crazy game. Oh god. Careful. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Shh, the ship is a little touchy. So. Oh god. Oh. Oh god. Oh no, there's one right here too. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, once the ship comes to a complete stop, I guess it can be turned back on. But I still have all the information I had before. It almost makes me want to turn the thruster down. Yeah, the thruster. Ooh, ooh. When the thruster's a bit lower. You get more control. Don't have as much speed. Ah, crud! Down we go again. What are these things? Why are they shooting me? I didn't do nothing wrong. I just wanted to go on a fun vacation. All right, turn the thruster down just a bit. Right back up, just a bit. okay. You gotta be quick with that scanning. You gotta be quick with that movement. You gotta be quick in general. These ships do not mess around. Oh my god! <gasps> okay, I'm far enough away where I can just do this real quick. I gotta know what happens. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing happens. Just nothing. Um, wow. This is, uh... This is getting more and more interesting as it goes along here. Which is what you want out of a video game, but... They certainly don't overwhelm you with the options that you're going to have from the get-go. I suppose you could call this a long tutorial. I'm going to mess with the mass generator. Oh god. Oh god. Outputs. The metrics let you monitor... Your your sound, heat, and electrical output. Oh god. Okay, we need to take a look at this right here. You see that? Now we've got these three different areas that you can adjust. So I can adjust the sound. Which is connected to, as we can see right here. That's connected to thrust and something else. Connected to mass generator. Okay. It doesn't appear you can disconnect that. So heat is associated with thrust and mass generator. And electricity is being used for the scanner. I'm just learning a bit about, you know, what's going on here. Ugh. Gotta turn my... Turn that down. That keeps it at a medium. Oh, that's cool. Turn that down all the way. Wait a minute. If you keep tapping, it automatically goes back around, so it goes from low to high. Fairly quick, so you gotta be careful here. Turn thrust back on. The small craft fuel engine is equipped with stability system that lets you fly smoothly and precisely. Awesome! So you can turn up stability all the way. So here's the interesting thing. So you see right here where it says like sound, heat, and electricity? You seeing that? The more I turn this up, the more it starts to affect my overall ship. Could definitely lose electricity or overheat. If it turns stability up all the way, it starts getting reactor stress, but shoo, I'm gonna need it. Look at that, look at that little shaky ship. Gotta turn it up all the way and just risk it. Risk it, risk it. It's saying right now, it's it's saying, Jesus, turn that down. I'm saying no. No man. You turn it down. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna turn it down right now though. Just so that I can uh, let it regain some stability before I'm gonna back down here, here, here. Oh god. Uh 
My scanner is also using a lot of this electricity, turning stability off. I don't think I'll need it for right here. Oh! <laughs> Maybe I did. Yeah. There is, this is getting kind of intense. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little worried about what's going to happen. Oh, we got a cutscene. Spectaculon is host to the 150 year old crash site of a gigantic star cruiser. Mm. Guess what? It's not made by humans. Oh, that's, that's not good. On your adventure, you may encounter debris and even working artifacts that have been jettisoned from this cruiser. Though they are completely safe, the Board of Space Tourism prohibits all interactions with these artifacts. Because of this, a penalty fee will be issued for every artifact you disturb. If oh, you do, no. however, encounter an artifact, don't panic. Point your scanner at it. If it has a sensor, its detection range will be shown as a circle. Ah, oh, damn it. Look at the meters on your heads down display. The orange bar indicates that the scanned artifact senses heat. Ooh. Produce less heat than this, and it won't detect you. Oh, this is cool. Tapping the heat meter will show you which systems produce heat. In this case, it's your fuel thruster. Simply lower its system power. Make sure the system doesn't produce too much heat when you accelerate. And you're good to go. Oh my god. Oh, this is cool. Wow. Holy crap. Holy crap. That is awesome. They, they just added this, this, this whole new puzzle mechanic to it. I mean, before it was just kind of like... Navigation? But now it's actually understanding your circumstances on a greater scale instead of just solving one issue. Now you're actually gonna have to navigate through danger using your resources that's incredibly cool well hopefully it'll be incredibly cool I, I the idea just sounds magnificent to me but i guess i need to see where it's going to go i'm watching the way that my heat is going up i got pretty strong heat detection right now now the meters are not the same as the warnings the warnings are something entirely different this is just telling me about my about how much i'm using oh god oh god oh god oh god Wait, whoa, 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 Holy crap. Okay, so this guy over here does not like heat, and he does not like electricity. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the heat down. I'm gonna turn it up just a bit. Electricity's good. It doesn't care about sound. I guess my, my heat went up after using this for so long, so it's all about using it in bursts. Crap, I need to enhance my stability for this section. I'm gonna turn that up. Stability. I'm gonna have to go way up. The buttons don't appear to ever turn these guys off. So they just don't like heat. So heat is associated with my mass generator and my thrust. So I have to turn my thrust down. Way down. We've got to carefully go through here. And man, it's such a low ratio of heat that it doesn't build. Uh, is good. Oh God! Stability. Forgot to turn up the stability. Got to turn the fuel. Turn the thrust back on. It's got to go back down. The heat's going to be a problem otherwise. Got to go way down. Stability can go all the way up. For all I care. Though it is picking up reactor stress as I'm doing this. The thing is building. It's building every second. Ah. Oh god. Okay. Turn stability way down. Let's get that thrust back up. Electric engine indication. A small electric engine is converted and fun engine. Okay. So I can use my electric engine 
instead of my fuel engine, which greatly reduces heat. Which would have been more helpful 45 seconds ago, but hey! They're just trying to get me a cut. Oh, no, no, no! What's this guy not like? Oh, he doesn't like electricity. Well, then I've got to switch over to my fuel engine. Turn the thrust down to one. He's more tolerant of electricity. I guess. But, uh, electricity is easier to... catch. So slowly and surely... He doesn't care about sound still, but he really hates electricity. And he really hates heat. But he hates electricity far less than he hates heat. So why don't we just go back up to the... Ah, see you later, buddy. Uh-oh. Yeah, the reactor stress is much faster. Oh, these guys tolerate heat. Which is good. So I can just go right through here. See you later, jerks. Although heat generates much faster, whereas electricity is more stable. So keep that in mind. Looks like none of these enemies, at least, I'm assuming none of these enemies can actually kill you, but they can uh, stun you in some way, whereas the lasers just blow you the hell up. That's it. And that's final. You're a dead person. You get near the damn lasers. Alright. So I'm using my fuel engine again. Log and help available. The log is a record of what happened to your ship during the adventure. Eh, I don't really need that. Helpful, but I don't really need it. Oh god, okay. He hates heat, doesn't have a damn opinion on electricity. Which is good for me. Turn my thrust all the way up. Oh god. You can hear that tapping, can't you? Because that is my reactor freaking out. Yeah, these guys really don't care. As long as you're not using heat. They are coolio. This guy on the other hand, I don't know. He doesn't like sound. Uh-oh. <laughs> Go through here slowly. And we're good. Wow, look at th this is gorgeous right here. That right there is just a great, great model. It's awesome. Very cool looking. Hmm. What if I turn the thrust up all the way? Can I go down? Whoa! I believe that the thrust on the fuel engine is much stronger. Yep. Ah! Come on! Wait a minute. Mass generator. Go all the way up. Oh, God! <laughs> Ooh, baby! You gotta be careful with this kind of stuff. Okay. So. Let's turn the mass generator all the way up. Which is very bad for the thrust. Ah! Oh god! I thought I fixed it! Alright, so I guess I can just use my right hand for the touchscreen right now instead of using the D-pad because I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna turn stability all the way off because I don't... Oop, turn it on one. Oh wait, I'm messing with the thruster. Stability off. Thrust needs to be generally mid-range right now. Maybe I can just do it with mid-range mass. Yep, I could have. I was overdoing it. Uh, let's turn up the mass generator for now. Yeah, so fuel is definitely more potent when it comes to speed than electricity. Uh, but electricity, it's... Uh, I don't know. I, I guess it generates heat more quickly than the heat generator. Because it took both of those abilities together to make that heat generator move as fast as it does on the electricity one. Um, like the mass generator is exclusive to the heat generator. 
lot of systems in here. I'm liking it. Very, very smart. Um, what are you about? Doesn't like heat. Tolerates electricity. My electricity is just way too high right now. Hmm. That's still too much for him. Maybe I will turn off my anti-gravity? Man, he, he really... And he can't use them in, in combination. It's, it's either got to be... Wait a minute, can I? Yeah, you got to either use the electric engine or the heat engine. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to turn it up all the way. And turn it off. So I just switched off. Oh no! Oh! So I just thrusted myself through there and then just immediately turned off my engine. Which is what I'm going to do again here. See? It's totally off. Switch it back on. This is getting pretty good. This game's getting pretty good. I, I'm sorry guys. I, I get a little... I get a little happy when games are good. Oh. Rod. So I think I'll need to fly through that area and do exactly what I did before, which is turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. Because these guys will not put up with heat uh, from, uh, from a fuel generator, but they will tolerate electricity a little better. I better turn on my scanner. Hmm. That's not what I meant to do. You really don't need to use the right analog stick as much as you think. And the gamepad's easy enough to hold with one hand. Ah! I, I, that wasn't the right thing to do. Hmm. Okay, I turn the electric engine, switch off, lower the anti-gravity. Oh god. Happened again. How can I get through these guys? Okay, maybe electricity just goes up too fast. Maybe I can just switch to my fuel engine? Yeah, but my fuel engine just... They can see me from a mile away. Yeah. If I turn off the stability... <sighs> Turn on the electric engine. Nah, it's too much. And without enough fuel, I can't... Hmm. This is tricky, man. This is actually really... Tricky. What if I turn off all my stability? Keep my thrust to one? Still not good enough. Still not good enough for these guys. How much anti gravity can I get away with? No, there's not enough. What the hell am I going to do here? If I turn the anti-gravity up all the way, he just flies right up into the air. Maybe I can just use that? Nope, they don't fall for it. I don't know what the hell to do here. <sighs> no, stop. Turn off the... I gotta turn off that fucking anti-gravity before the ship starts up. Too much electricity. Too much electricity. Not enough to make it fly up in the air. Hmm. 
That's too much heat. I don't know, guys. I really don't. I don't know what to do. I, I'm, I'm totally clueless. Ah, there's nothing that... Uh-oh, I just dropped the gamepad. I, I don't know. There's nothing I can actually... That wasn't me throwing the gamepad out of rage. It wasn't just like, screw this. Wait, the horn. The horn will save me. Nah, no, it won't. Can't figure out a way around this. So they don't like heat, huh? What about... Players have heat. Why don't you shoot that thing? It's, it's just too much electricity. It's not enough electricity. Ah. Uh. I, I don't know, guys. I'm, I haven't been this stuck in a long time. Turn that off. Leave anti-gravity on. <gasps> At stage four, it can, it can float. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Turn that off. You have to have it at the second most powerful or most potent amount. Oh god. Decelerator? I will say the only problem with this game so far is that it really wants to share its secrets with you. It really wants to communicate with you. It just always wants to communicate at a really inopportune time. Um, I suppose because this is all about puzzles and whatnot that I should be able to adapt. The decelerator. What does that do? Ah, 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 ah! Get away! 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 Oh my God! No! Ew, that's creepy. I don't know what that is. Ugh. Okay. Can I scan these guys? No, they don't have anything to say, huh? Oh. Okay then, well, um, hmm. That can't be right. Alright, let's switch this on. Okay. What? It's already been 40 minutes? This game has just gone by. This is really fun and, and, and entertaining and... What does the decelerator exactly do? It slows down the small craft in mid-air as long as you are not applying thrust. Oh, okay, so it's slowing down the um, decelerator will allow me to increase stability of sorts. I'm not swaying around in the air. Uh, oh, God! Oh, oh, my God. It's so creepy. All right, we're getting through here. Decelerator's going all the way up, too. The reactor stress is surprisingly low. God, screw you guys. Creepy things. What what are those things? What do they do? What are they doing? Uh, oh no. Oh come on. You gotta be kidding me. It doesn't like sound. Okay. Oh good. Thrust, anti-gravity, and decelerator are, are all associated to sound. That's great. God. Oh god. <laughs> Good, these guys don't like heat or sound. Let's turn off the engine. See? Boom. Got away from you. Woof. Oh my god. That is crazy.
I mean, this is this is awesome. For a Wii U exclusive, this is something very special, and Nintendo should be very grateful that independent developers are, are, are putting this much thought and work in, into their system. In some ways, I'd say they put more thought into this game than just about anything Nintendo has. That's not a knock against... Well, I guess that is a knock against Nintendo, because, frankly, this is so thoughtful. Oops. Oops. Hey, the electric engine actually allows you to swim around in the water. So the heat engine does not. It just allows you to kind of freely plummet. thing does not like electricity, so I'm just turning the electricity off. Follow it carefully. I mean, this game actually makes use of having a lot of buttons. You know, by using the gamepad in nearly every function. It just feels like this was... It, I mean, this was designed for the Wii, and it shows. Okay, mass generator. Turn that up all the way. So we can get past this guy. What, are you serious? Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I don't really even know what to do here. I'll turn off the mass generator. Then turn it back on. No, turn it off. Then switch to electric. Move all the way over here. Switch to fuel. And mass generator all the way up. Whoops. Wow. Gamepad. This part... Tilting the gamepad is probably the, the 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 least necessary, but it's actually it works. Like until they start making you like complete challenges with it, I'm pretty cool with it. But I guess I'll have to wait till that that point happens. This is a very special game. This is very 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 cool. Good on the team that made this. This is so so different. I mean it's. The themes and, and concepts are, are very, um, are, have been explored, but I love the way that they're doing this. Okay. So let's go back to our heat and turn off the mass generator so that we can hopefully get past this guy without too much trouble. We'll switch over to electric. And now we can probably go up here. You know, those first few stages I was talking about are are very small. Very, very small, short stages. But, uh, you know, as this has gone on, they've definitely stepped it up. Turn down the thrust on that. You can hear the windshield wipers. That's so neat. What a fun little addition. Oh, totally unnecessary, but just like a really, really cool addition. Um... If you're waiting for a final conclusion, the answer is yes, go buy this. $20, yep. You're supporting thought. You know, you're really supporting thought. There was thoughtful design in this game. And if you're handing them 20 bucks, you're saying, thanks for thinking about this. You know, thank you for actually taking the time to come up with a concept that would take advantage of my $300 system. $20 is very much worth that. I'm not knocking the Wii as a system. I'm just knocking some of the some of the poor choices I think Nintendo's made regarding uh, the games. Like, you know, remember that Kirby game? It's entirely gamepad. You know, WarioWare or not WarioWare? Jesus, what am I talking about? Oh God, what is this guy? What is he about? Oh, he doesn't care about nothing. He just wants to hit me. Um, oh, can't go through the chain. Ain't no chain chomp. 
You look at something like, uh, you know, Mario Kart, once again, great game. What's the gamepad for? A horn? To check what place you're in? Who cares? This game is designed to take advantage of both of that. This is... This is necessary. I'm, because what it offers is a clean interface. And you really can't say enough good things about that. You really can't. Guy is not going to tolerate my electricity at all. Hmm. Alright, I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn the thrust up all the way. Hey, it worked! Oh, I guess they're, they're not going to count that one. Okay, so he'll only tolerate a limited amount of electricity. Right, I've got to turn my thrust all the way down. Turn anti-gravity to a minimum. Really won't tolerate heat. If I turn that off. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so check this out. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fling forward and then just turn off my thrust. Well, I'm going to try and fling forward. Red. Because the anti-gravity will just allow me to coast. Just barely enough. Barely enough. Nope. Too late. Alright. Electric engine. Turn off the decelerator. Uh, leave anti-gravity right there. Crank this bad boy up to five. And then just... Go for it. Oh god. And now, turn off the anti-gravity. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright. Thrust at one. Just to nudge myself off. Turn the thrust back up! Turn the thrust back up! Turn the thrust back up! God, this is a great game so far. <laughs> it's really exciting, and there's just there's puzzles, and there's action. And exploration and strange alien creatures. This is incredible so far. Turn that thrust up all the way. Actually, I should switch over to the fuel thrust because that is always stronger. Turn that down. And that almost all the way off. Alright. I'm getting a lot of Heat. Oh, that was just uh, leftover heat from using the thrust at maximum. What we got here? Excellent. This is so freaking cool. You, if you own a Wii U, you have to play this. I, I, I need to play this with friends. You know, letting them control the ship and be like, okay, I'm going to turn off all the electricity while you fling yourself through there. All right, on the count of three. Like, holy crap, you could get yourselves into some major trouble, and I can imagine this being excellent. I would not call this a party game. However, if you've got two friends over, and you're just like, hey, you want to play something? You're playing this together. You're going to have a ton of fun. I can't imagine how you wouldn't. It's so exciting already. Be able to control the ship and control the thrusters and... Everyone would have a meaningful part, but as a solo title, it's excellent. Excellent so far. What do you want, you jerk? He does not like electricity, so I've got to turn... Oh, he's cool with heat? Well, if he's cool with heat, what's my electricity associated with right now? Oh, my stability? Alright, I'll turn off stability. So I remove my stability. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh my god. I'm sorry, guys, but when a game's really good, I get really, really happy. People are always like, oh, you don't like anything. Why do you gotta crap all over this game? And it's because, you know, I, I, I'm happy when I play something great. And so far, this has been great. Which over to electricity, because he's totally tolerant of electricity. Maybe he's not tolerant of electricity. I'm producing heat some other way, and I'm not aware of what I'm doing. 
No pizza all there. Learned of electricity, so what am I doing wrong? Um, I must have not switched over to electricity. I must have made a mistake. Let's turn that thruster down to medium. And... I can imagine the first few... Oh, engine shortcuts. Uh, press R or L to switch the turn on or off your engines. So R is electric, and L is heat. This game's getting better and better. Holy crap. He does not like heat. Well, I'll just turn... Well, wait a minute. Yeah, I'll just turn it off. And turn it off. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. This is one of the best games I've played in so long. It's been a pretty good year, I have to say. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, so maybe electricity takes too long. Or maybe I'll have to turn my thruster on all the way. My thrust is on 24... It's up to 100%. Nope, that didn't do it either. Does heat generate better at a full thrust? Let's see. Well, that takes forever too. Gotta very carefully do this. Poof. <laughs> this guy does not care for heat or electricity. So, what if I turn my anti-gravity all the way up? Nope, that won't do it. Oh god, I just turned off my anti-gravity. Turned off the engine while I was at it. Let's not worry about anti-gravity as much. Let's just focus on rust. So tap that, make it go all the way up. Whoops! I thought you turned off the engine. I guess I didn't. Oh, that's nice! Let me start right back where I was! Thank you, game developer! Hmm. Better play this one smart. Turn off the de-accelerator. Turn up the thrust all the way. Or maybe I can just simply... No, nope, no matter what I do, it's gonna... I turn thrust all the way down. Stability all the way down. Yeah, my heat signature is just too much. Turn off anti-gravity. Keep thrust right where it is. Now, as soon as I start to thrust, I'm gonna... Hmm. Well, I was able to get past him. I suppose... My fuel would be faster. Ah! He didn't care for that. Damn. Turn up the thrust and the anti-gravity all at the same time. Nope, that didn't work either. Though it did give me a good amount of momentum. So let's turn the engine on, turn off the de-accelerator, turn anti-gravity all the way up, and turn thrust all the way up, and then turn it off at the right time. Yes! Yes! Ah, crap. Now I gotta do this. Whoop! What did I do? Oh, I overheated. So that's what happens when you overheat. Eh, ain't so bad. Turn the this down to three for the thrust. Is this working, guys? Are you understanding what I'm doing here? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, but I'm, I'm hoping you understand that, like, how much I'm adjusting on the gamepad. Um, there's a lot. You're really using the gamepad all the time. It's visual information that you can also adjust with the touchscreen. It's very cool. It's very, very cool so far. Can you press A? How much time do we have right now? It's been an hour. Holy crap. Alright, guys. 
I'm gonna break it down for you right now. Do you own a Wii U? The answer is yes. Then you have to buy affordable space adventures. You have to buy affordable space adventures. Look me in the eyes. Look at me. I you watch enough of these videos. I'm not blown away by everything. I always go, it's okay. Eh, it's not really my thing. This is awesome. This is different. I know you might just look at the graphics and you, you might not understand it. You might say, I, I, I don't know. That's not, uh, maybe that's not really my thing. I don't really like flying around spaceships. No, 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 no. It's not about that. It's the, it's the use of the, of the touchpad. Like let's like real, real quick. So we can really get this all going. I got, you can see how everything's connected and where I'm producing signatures. It's so cool. So heat's associated with these guys over here. Sound is associated with the thrust. And I can actually go in here and just switch off my auto, you know, anti-gravity. Let me turn my anti-gravity up all the way. Look at me just flying up in the air. And if I'm, I'm on the heat side, I can, I can switch it to mass generators so they fall to the ground. It's intelligent. That's smart design. That's such smart design. And it's, and it's actually taking advantage of the gamepad. This should have been here when the game launched. I mean, it's incredible. I've only played an hour of it, and I can already say, pay attention to this. This is one of the best games of 2015 so far, just from this first hour. Now, it might fall apart. Maybe the rest of the game sucks and it gets really repetitive and they just don't come with any new mechanics and the puzzles get tired. But right now, from this first hour, this is an excellent game. If you don't own a Wii U, you should be jealous because this is that damn good so far. But that's going to do it for this episode of the first hour. Remember to subscribe and, you know, give me a little thumbs up and go to videogamesordumb.com and listen to the pressure cast. Because I'll be talking about this game. What a surprise. I had no idea. Uh, affordable uh, space adventures. Must buy. I will see you guys for the next episode of the first hour. Thanks for watching.